So I've been seeing a lot of rage quitters lately. In fact, I actually ran across, well, came across some dude who had what was it, 220 disconnections, I think. And he was on the demo playing. All right, like I didn't, I didn't fight him. I just fucking legit removed him from my session because I'm not dealing with that shit. I could always just play him, you know, try to play him dirty and make him rage quit. But I was like, nah, because it's gonna be a waste of time anyways. But I've been thinking about something that I've seen on Street Fighter 4, where if you disconnect from a rank match, you lose battle points. Okay, and what I'm also thinking of is give a rage quitter two bad choices, and he has to pick the best from the worst. Meaning, to to be more specific here. Okay, so let's say Sabakunet 2 implemented the Street Fighter 4 system where he loses battle points if he disconnects. So, think about it like this. If he were to lose a thousand from accepting a loss, he would lose two thousand from rage quitting. That's what I'm thinking. So he has to pick the best from the worst, which the best being you lose one thousand from losing as opposed to two thousand from rage quitting. And a lot of people are like, well, Papa Berto, what if my S-Bot or PS3 is dusty as hell? What if my disc is scratched? What if the power goes out? Let me answer those three questions, and you know, with, with three questions, okay? If you clean your ass bots in PS3, how often is your console gonna get dusty? If you take care of your disc, how often is this gonna get scratched? And how, if the power goes out in your house, how often is that gonna happen? Think about it. Like, mo the answer for most of those three would be like, very rarely to never, okay? So. For me specifically, I buy compressed air cans, so I clean all my electronics, dude. I clean my PS3, I clean my Xbox, I clean my PC, I clean everything that gets dust, okay? Now for the discs, I take care of them. When I, Whenever I'm not playing it, and I take it out of the console, I put it back in this case, alright? And that's what you guys gotta do in order to prevent all that shit. But for a rage quitter, he has two fucking painful ass choices to make if he wants to stay in the leaderboard. He's gonna be in the leaderboard, it's just that the rank is gonna go down. So, lose a thousand points from taking the loss, or lose two thousand from rage quit. He automatically is gonna take the loss, dude. There's no, I'm gonna rage quit. You're gonna have the few people that are gonna rage quit regardless, but that's only because they don't give a fuck, you know? And I actually wanted to just throw this idea out there, and I wanted to uh, kind of hear or, or see what you guys will come up with in the comments, like, as in opinions, like, what do you think about this system if Cyberpunk were to implement it? Because honestly, to me, it sounds fucking amazing. Considering I don't rage quit, so I don't have to worry about that shit. So if you don't rage quit, it seems like a good fucking thing to have in the game. Well, you know what? Just leave your opinions in the comments and let me know. All right, peace out.